Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays. Premier League. It's Leeds United against Manchester City. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. We'll have a fine game for you today. Welcome to it. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. Goal news now from Crystal Palace. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. It's been scored by Wilfred Zaha. A volley finished from close range. Three minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Now back in front of their own supporters today, Martin, second day of the campaign, and uh, I think we are looking at a mid-table side here. I don't like to say that so early in the season, but uh, I don't see them finishing any higher than that. Up against a team here that's uh, much fancied, I think, rightfully so, when you look at the players down there. I think they're going to be a strong force this season, vying for the championship. Leeds United, they'll be looking for another win. They played so well last time out, it was an away victory against Brighton and Hove Albion. Yeah, it didn't do a lot wrong in that 1-0 victory. But uh, looking at them before the match, I just can't see them following it up with another victory. I think they'll lose here. And the keeper able to hold the shot. Cooper. We're hearing there's a penalty. Alan McInally. It's a penalty for Aston Villa. He's put the ball down on the spot. Up he steps. Lovely power shot. High to the goalkeeper's left. 22 minutes played. 1 0. Thanks, Alan. his hand and the referee's given it deliberate handball yeah, he's in a good position as well the ref just a couple of yards away easy one for him that's a real tussle for the ball this reception every time he comes back here Manchester City given the advantage here he's a natural finisher this guy chance for him he tried to chip the keeper and a goal into the bottom corner goalkeeper came off his line really challenging the attacker to do that but he's done it he's one of the hardest skills out on the pitch to be able to get the, the weight of chip just perfect we've got to hand it to this boy he has got that instinct for knowing exactly where to position himself in the box and the score is 1-0 a back heel that's caught the opposition out will go into this with uh, extra zest really played one 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 what's going to happen in game number two well results are everything for manager aren't they and i think the players will be gaining respect for him because he's handled himself well what we're seeing at the moment is manchester city being worked very hard indeed they do have the lead and that's obviously a plus but their general level of play could improve got the second half to come of course able to make a good interception build up until that challenge goal news involving Brentford it's a goal for Southampton oh, he's in here oh. oh it's a goal and they've pulled it back an important 
go for them. They are level. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. We're all level again. 1-1 one, one the score. here because they can counter-attack oh the quick counter-attack and the end too quick came to nothing and carrying the ball forward it's the Manchester City so here we are at half time and it's 1-1 easy on the eye this first half with two teams trying to go about it the right way we're all ready for the second half, and so too are Manchester City. Here's the opportunity. Oh! And the block there, stopping a goal, I think. We did have to cut short Alan McInally. I apologise to him and to you all, for I know you love listening to him, but it was news of a Southampton goal. The score is now 1-1. It's the second goal for Brentford. 54 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. But, oh! That's a great block. So, the goalkeeper's going to get a chance to show his distribution now. It's going to be his ball. Rodrigo. Options available on the bench for the away side today. Attacking now. is now from Crystal Palace. It's a third goal for Crystal Palace. 61 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Didn't hesitate, did he, with that challenge? Rodrigo. This is the chance. Oh, it's a good strike. And it's matched by the save. The end, it's nowhere near the target. Both sides have got a sub ready to come on. Well, here comes a substitution for the away team. He's away easily, past his man. Here's the cross. Really responsible defending and a difficult time for his team. challenge oh, lost possession here we might look back at the end of the match at this decision one way or another the scores are level and only comes to try and tilt the game his team's way Adam Forshaw Position back off, they could be in trouble when the ball gets to here. Here we've got the 
possession stats so far for you coming up on the screen. Uh, nothing to split the two sides. This is when you're looking for somebody to pick out a hole, create the pass, create the goal. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. And they've got a player to take the throw in this attacking area. It's an opportunity for the substitute to really make himself a hero here. The game is level, and can he be the man to instigate his team going in front? And looking at my watch, four minutes left. Manchester City given the advantage here. Another two minutes added on by the referee. Trying to just clip it in. Game over. One one. It's finished here as a draw and a very, very tight contest. Yeah, not many chances, but there were some missed opportunities for, for both sides.